Hey, superb morning, amigos, amigas. We are here to give chapter two a start here. We're looking to solve uh, single variable equations. We're going to start today with using addition and subtraction to solve these single variable equations. Addition and subtraction are the first set of inverse operations that we are going to discuss here. Inverse operations are operations, you know, uh, things you do on two numbers, variables, that negate each other. Inverses are like opposites. So if I start with an easy number like 10, if I add 5 to 10, I get to 15. But then if I want to work backwards to get 15 back to 10, I need to undo adding that 5 by subtracting that 5. So addition and subtraction negate or cancel each other out. My goal today is I want to isolate, that's the key word here, isolate means to get by itself, my given variable in order to solve the equation, and I'm going to find the numerical value that would make both the left and right side of the equations equal, makes a true statement. What we're really looking at today is making sure we show our work. Okay, uh, chapter one, there was a lot of mental math and uh, showing work. I, you know, I said, if you can put on your Nikes, just do it, make it happen. But with chapter two and beyond, we're going to need to show our work, uh, writing down the problem, showing our inverse operations to get full credit. Today's examples are a little bit easier, but as we get, um, you know, into the chapter a little deeper, the examples are, aren't going to be able to be done in our head, so we want to be in good practice of showing our work and using the inverse operations. So here's what I mean by that. First example we have is what number x minus 10 is equal to 4. You might be saying, oh, I can do that in my head. Good. But we're going to get in the habit of showing our work so we have the inverse operations down like the back of our hand. Okay. So what I'm going to do here to get x alone is I need to think, okay, inverse, I need to undo subtracting 10. So I'm going to add 10. Now the golden rule of algebra with equations is what I do unto one side of my equation, I must do unto the other. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides. So I've done equality. I've just increased both sides of my equation by 10. I haven't changed one side. It's still balanced. 10, 10, still equal. So negative 10 plus 10, that makes 0. Those are inverses. So now I have the x alone, it's isolated, will equal 4 plus 10, 14. Now the nice thing about these equations is you can always check your answer. If I plug in 14 for x, is 14 minus 10 equal to 4? Good! Yes, it is. Example 2, we have a plus 7 equals negative 3. So again, I'm going to isolate my a, undoing a plus 7 with minus 7 from both sides. Plus 7 minus 7 make 0. They cancel out, make my a isolated. Negative 3 minus 7 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus 7, negative 3. Groovy. Again, that's all I'm looking for for work, putting down the e. Uh, original equation, showing your inverse operations, isolating the variable. Three, we've got the F word. Whoa, fraction. Yes, that F word. We're going to add one-fifth to both sides to undo subtracting one-fifth from M. So one-fifth and two-fifths, nice thing here, we have a common denominator. So one plus two, three-fifths will be my m variable then. Four, we have to do a little simplifying here first before we do inverse operations. So I'm going to have 25 will equal the c minus a negative 10. I'm going to combine minus a negative to c plus 10. So now to isolate c, I'm going to undo adding 10 with subtracting 10 from both sides. 15 will equal C. Check it. 15 minus a negative. 15 plus 10 is 25. Yahtzee. Got some decimals. Example 5. To get n alone, I'm going to undo subtracting 3.2, so I'll add 3.2 to both sides. Minus plus, cancel out. 
n will equal 6 and 2 make 8, 5 and 3 make 8. So 8.8 .8 will be the n value. Careful on 6. Again, k is over on the right side. Doesn't matter which side your variable is on. You can isolate it on either side. So I'll undo subtracting 6 by adding 6 to both sides. Negative 6 plus 6, 0. Negative 6 plus 6, 0. So 0 will equal k. 0 minus 6 is negative 6. Another decimal. We'll undo adding 0.4 with subtracting 0.4 from both sides. 0.7 minus 0.4 is 0.9. Two left before we look at some word problem examples. Get x alone here. Notice my, even though it's a plus, my numerical value is a negative 11. So I need to move negative 11 over by adding 11. X will equal then 33 and 11, 44. So always look at the sign of your numerical value that you need to get rid of to use inverse operations with. All right, finally, 9. I've got a negative 3 quarters. So I'm going to add 3 quarters to both sides. And I'm going to get big R will equal to, again, common denominators. 5 and 3 will make 8 over 4, and I can simplify that to 2. We'll be right back to check a few word problems and blow it up. All right, we're back like a bad rash here to finish up with a story problem and then a few literal equations and then reviewing complementary angles. Our right, little story problem here, we're told that times were tough as the checking account balance of Mr. Nichols was $1,425. So then we're told that this was, so his amount of money, $1,425, was $2,022 less than his balance last year. We want to know how much money did he have last year. So we could think about this, $1,425 this amount was equal to 2022 less than what he had last year. So that would be equal to, I'll use L for last year, take away $2,022. So the amount he has this year, $1,425, was equal to $2,022 less taken away from what he had last year. So we don't know how much money did he have. Well, he had $2,022 more last year. So I'll add that to get L last year alone. 5 and 2, 7. 2 and 2, 4. 4 and 3. So he should have had $3,477 last year. Thirty-four, forty-seven. Awesome. Let's take a look at um, some literal equations. To take something literally means to take it exactly word for word. So we're going to write down what we're told exactly word for word on these. And we are going to spend more time with these literal equations at the end of chapter two. So just a little tip of the iceberg here. So we want to write an equation that says a number. So we don't know what that is. Pick a variable. Decreased by five. So I'm going to subtract 5, is 17. So I'm going to back up here with our literal equations. The key word is implies or means equals. So a number decreased by 5 is equals 17. The setup is the most challenging part. To get my variable alone, then I'll undo subtracting 5 with adding 5. 17 and 5, 22 is that. Unknown. Two, be really careful here. Ten less than a number. So how would I take a number and then do ten less than it? Well, with subtraction, order matters. So if I want to take ten less than a number, it needs to be that number minus ten. 
is equals negative 19. So to get x alone, I'll undo subtracting 10 with adding 10. Negative 19 plus 10 is negative 19. And finally, example 3 here. We have the sum of 12 and a number. 12 and a number is equals 29. So with x alone, we'll undo the positive 12 with subtracting 12 from both sides. 29 minus 12 is 17. It's a beautiful thing. Last review here, complementary angles are two angles that sum or add up to 90 degrees. So if I have two angles here, 47 and x, and I want to find the value of the missing angle, I could say, well, the first angle plus the second angle, 47 plus x, has to add up to or sum to 90. So I could find that missing angle by subtracting 47 from both sides. 90 minus 47 will give us 40. There you have it. We are blown up, finished up with the notes. Fly on. Have a great rest of your day.